This is a fun one, guys. Q&A, and uh, it gets very interesting. Part one of two. All right, guys, let's get into this video. I love doing Q&A videos. I do them about once or twice a year, and I always get some great questions. I changed things up just a little bit in this one. What I did was I always post it on Instagram. Uh, where you could like ask me a question or something. And then I used some app called NGL. I imagine it's not gonna lie. That's what the NGL stands for. Um, so you could ask anonymous questions. So we have a list of questions from IG and a list of questions from NGL, completely anonymous. And uh, there's two parts to this video because I had so many good questions. Some not so good. Those ones aren't gonna make the videos, but some really good ones. Um, before we get into this very quickly, if you ship a lot of comic books, check out GeminiComicSupply.com. In the, uh, there is a 10% off discount code down below for you. I think it's very Gary 10 uh, So if you buy and sell and ship a lot of comic books and you need Gemini mailers, and, and they do more than Gemini mailers, but use the discount code, uh, get yourself 10% off, all right? There's other discount codes too, but I, I try to, I don't want to overwhelm everybody with all those things. You know, there's a, a Mutant Beaver comics one. I don't get anything for that one. There's a cover price one. I don't get anything for that one. Those are just for you guys, discount codes. So, all right, let's get into it. First question. When are you coming to the UK for a convention? I'm not. Uh, I cannot. There's no way. I, I've never even been to San Diego Comic Con. I can't. I love, I, I like traveling, I really do, but I can't travel all the way to England for the first time to just to go to a convention. That would be a little difficult to do. I'd love to. Um, there are so many people around the world that watch these videos, and the only reason I know, well, I know because I can look up the data on YouTube, but, but I've actually had people come to me at New York Comic Con from all around the globe. Like, that is not an exaggeration. Like, New Zealand, Australia, Germany, Ireland... I believe Scotland, Spain, Mexico, uh, England, Ger did I say Germany? There was Germany. I mean, all over Europe, Canada, Mexico. Um, was there a Colombia? Like South America, Central America, literally worldwide. So, so I would like to go international to a convention, but I should probably make it to San Diego Comic-Con first. If you guys want me to go to San Diego Comic-Con, leave a comment because um, I wouldn't go out there to sell. I would just go out there to see everybody hang out pick up some odds and ends. All right, next one. Great question here. Do brick and mortar uh, comic stores stand a chance? I believe they do, but it's difficult. This is just my opinion. I think a well-run store can thrive. I do think you need a major social media presence. I do think you need to be on eBay. I do believe you need to be on eBay Live or whatnot uh, as m more income. I think you need a good pull list group. I think you need more than just comic books, whether it's Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, Magic. I think you need that cards. Uh, you know, it's just additional uh, people walking through the door. I think you need really good connections to maybe a half a dozen artists and writers that you could bring into the store to generate pop, you know, people walking in. Uh, is it easy? No, I don't think it's easy. Uh, their stores are closing every day, but there's also stores that have been thriving. Like Zap Comics down in New Jersey is an incredible comic shop. My LCS, Alterniverse, they're up in Hyde Park, New York. These are great comic shops. Like I know I can walk into... Alterniverse, my my LCS, and ask for a modern book that's come out in the last month, and he probably has it. He, I've never been to a comic shop that orders more weekly books than them. Um, but I think you do need a lot of things going for you. Next up, if you did start collecting another character for your PC, who would it be? It would be Spider Man. I have had every Spider Man key except F fifteen and Sandman. I think I may have had, I've had every single one, every first appearance at one point or another, not at the same time, but every you know, once in a while. So, so I had a crazy idea and concept for this room at one point where I would just paint half of it gray with all my Batman keys and everything on one side and the other half like split it blue and red and have all Spider-Man keys and statues. And that would literally be like a $15,000 investment because if I did something like that, I would go crazy and buy like all kinds of Spider-Man statues and just 
it would be crazy. So instead you get Turtles and He-Man and I promise I will eventually get to this cabinet and then I have another Batman cabinet here that I have to still work on. So that was an idea, but now that's not happening because this place looks like a warehouse and it doesn't even look like any type of man cave type environment. Okay, who's your favorite cousin? Blair, come on now, you know the answer to that. How many hours a week do you spend on comics? Not enough. Um, probably realistically, how many hours a week? Maybe maybe 10 hours a week, uh, about 10 hours a week, but I could easily do 40 hours a week and still be buried in work. Are bulk pre-screens for modern still a good idea? Uh, the right moderns, I think, the right moderns. You know, you don't want to just go buy books off the rack and send them to CGC for a pre-screen. No, I, I personally think if you have the right keys, modern keys, yeah, I do. Because if you can pre-screen 9.8s versus 9.6s and the, the value is like two times more, two times or more from a 9.6 to a 9.8, take the chance. Uh, and the last one on IG, we have some more here. What books are you still hunting for for your PC? I'm always looking to upgrade my current books. So like, I have, let me give you an example here. What do I have? Uh, first Batgirl in a 5.0. I'd like a 5.5 or a 6.0. I have the first Mr. Freeze in a 4.0. I'd shoot for a 4.5 or a 5. I have a first Man Bat in a 7.0. I feel like a 7.5 Bronze Age book is a really solid grade for the Bronze Age. So that's it. I, I do like upgrading my personal collection. Grades. All right. So that's kind of like my goal because I also have a question. What is your goal for 2024? Same thing. Just kind of uh, for, for comic collecting. Um upgrade the keys I already have. There's not too many Batman keys I really want at this point. There's a few, but all right, here we go. Time for the anonymous questions. This is where things get silly. Why doesn't my crush like me back? I'm, I'm not good at dating advice, uh, but maybe they do. How do you know? Ask them. I don't know. I have no idea. Uh, do you spec on books? If so, what was the biggest payoff? So I used to spec on books, but I don't know what my biggest payoff was. I do not spec on books anymore just because I'd rather get the stuff in and get it out, get it in the house, sell it and on to the next thing constantly in and out. If you, you know, if you sit on books too long, I, I don't know. It's just me. And again, all these questions, it's just my opinion, guys. This is not you know, go just, you know, just my opinion. What's your favorite show to set up at? 110%. My favorite show is Terrificon. My favorite show does it, it's, it is the easiest to load in and the easiest to load out. It is the most fun for four days. Cause I go a day early to set up. Uh, the guest list is arguably as good as any convention you will find. So like there's New York Comic Con and San Diego Comic Con, right? They're tier A or tier S, whatever you want to call them. And that next level is like Emerald City, Megacon, um, like that level. I feel like Terrificon is right there. And what's crazy too is this this convention, like look up Terrificon.com and look at the guest list. Just look who's coming to this show. It's unbelievable. Capullo, Snyder, Adam Hughes, Chris Claremont, Mark Bagley, Jason Aaron, Brian Azzarello, Jim Lee. These are just some of the guest lists. The Simonsons are going to be there. Like legends, Bob McLeod. Like legends. I, I, I mean, it is an unbelievable unbelievable convention that I still feel has not even maxed its potential. It's amazing. And on top of all of that, it is located in a casino, which I'm not saying go gamble, but what else comes in a casino? Great restaurants. The, everything is open like all night. Like there's things to do all night. When I leave the convention, I can go to my room because the hotel is there in the same building. It's, it's I, I literally park the van when I get there Thursday, I load in. All right, I park the van and I don't go back to the van until Sunday after the show. So that van just sits there because I don't need to leave the building. Great food, great hotel, amazing show. Terrificon is the kind of show you travel to. It's not, it is 
so much fun. What's great too is like in the middle of the convention, let's say you're tired, let's say you're hungry, you're not eating crappy convention food, you're eating at legit restaurants. Your room's upstairs, go take a nap in the middle of the day if you want. There's pools, like it's just amazing. It's a three day getaway with the convention. I cannot say enough good things about Terrificon. There are no negatives, zero negatives. It is tremendous. Uh, favorite, this is going to be a long video. This is why we have to do two. Favorite era of comics, favorite artist, writer of era. This is, I'm going to, I might catch some hate for this and that's okay. My favorite era of collecting is silver and bronze. That's hands down. Silver and bronze, Batman, keys. I, I love the artwork. I love the, all the villains. Like that's my favorite. I mean, journey into mystery. I love the Thor stuff too, but silver and bronze. Okay. Favorite artist and writer is my favorite artist is Jason Fabic. My favorite writer is Jeff Johns. I also love Capullo and I love Snyder. So like the de the definitive answer right here, and I think it has to be the definitive answer, is modern artists and writers because the storytelling today is so much more compelling than back in the day. But I also love Jack Kirby. Like he's one of my favorites too. And I love Joe Sinnott. He's one of my favorites too. But like, how do you not... I think Todd McFarlane is amazing, unbelievable. So, I mean, and, and this, just the storytelling, like I have lists of favorite artists and writers. I love Kirkman. I love Adam Hughes as an artist. Uh, Steve McNiven is unbelievably amazing. Uh, there's just so, the modern artist just trumps the classic. Now, there's nothing like a classic artist from the 60s and 70s, whether it's a Ditko or a Ramita, a Kubert. Like these guys are legends. But some of this stuff today is on another level. I mean, I know I might catch some hate, but favorite TV show. I have so many favorite TV shows. Game of Thrones. I love Game of Thrones. I loved Lost. Uh, today, currently on television, Naruto. That's old, actually. Um, oh, I should have like thought about this. What do I love? Oh, psh, Survivor. Classic Survivor. I, Survivor is the reality show. Survivor is the best. And for all you guys who maybe started watching Survivor and got away from it, come on back. Come back. Survivor is just as good or better than it was 10, 15, 20 years ago. All right, let's go. What song do you listen to the most? Right now I'm listening to Dark Matter by Pearl Jam because it just came out. And uh, as of the time of this recording, Tonight at Midnight, the second song of the new Dark Matter album by Pearl Jam is dropping. So I'm really excited about that. Do you have any piercings? No, I don't. As, uh, let me see, let me see. It's always a good time when you're around. Not a question, but thank you. I appreciate it. Who's the friend that supports you the most? Oh my God, I have so many friends that support me the most. Just away from the comic community. I have an entire college group friend that literally asks me all the time, how's it going? What's going on? How'd you do at the convention? Are you dropping anything new? These aren't comic collectors. These are just friends of mine like... Amazing people, like amazing, amazing people. Obviously in the comic community, there's so much support from, uh, you know, you gotta have the right group. You know, Matty Forge, Jay, the Butcher, Erod. Uh, these guys are, we're all there for each other. I mean, and that's in life too, right? Not just comic books. Like you want people, you want like-minded friends with an end goal and an end game all working together. Like, you know, you don't want like crappy friends. Uh, is it true Yes, absolutely. And that's our last question. Thank you guys so much for watching. There's going to be a part two. And as always, keep it comics.